Hello everyone and welcome to or back to my booktube channel. Today's video is going to be a really fun one and different if you can't tell from my settings. This isn't my usual background and that's because as the title of this video shows we are going book shopping. I always want to go book shopping but I've been wanting to do this video for like a week now so I'm excited that we are finally here. I believe that Barnes and Noble is having like a buy one get one half off on hardcovers or something like that. And so that's what's inspired today's video. But we are also going to be going to um, technically two local bookshops near me. One I'm here right now and we're gonna go in and then one was from the other day so I'll insert those clips in later. But I did get three books there and one book I I was so excited to find but yeah on today's agenda we are about to go into this local bookshop just to see if they have anything before I go into Barnes and probably drop a lot of money but there are a few hardbacks I specifically am hoping to find at Barnes but we'll get into that later and for now we will head into this secondhand bookshop and see if we can find anything first. Also, P.S. I'm really nervous to be filming in public today and alone, so wish me luck. Okay, first stop down and it was a huge success. I forgot to tell y'all, the main reason I love this place is because of the cat. They have had this cat in this bookshop for so long and it's so sweet, it's the sweetest cat ever. And honestly, it kind of makes leaving hard because like I feel so bad, but like at least the cat is in a bookshop and it's happy, it gets to be pet all the time. But I want it and it's so sweet. But regardless, we did end up getting a book. I picked up Too Wrong to Be Right by Melanie Johnson. I haven't heard anyone talk about this. I've never seen this cover. And honestly, it has a little bit of water damage right here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I think y'all can see. But I mean, that's kind of what happens when you buy secondhand and I was just happy to be supporting a local business. It's obviously a romance. Um, this is our main character, Kat. Yeah, Kat. She goes through a breakup and then she's like, maybe I shouldn't trust my heart and I should think with my brain. And then she decides after meeting this guy, who's this, um, that they're just gonna be friends. Obviously that doesn't happen, so. Yeah, this cover was just so cute. And yeah, I'm excited to read this eventually. But that means it is time to officially go to Barnes. I'm so excited. That was obviously a store that was not busy and Barnes will be because it's in our mall. So I'm not looking forward to that. Also, it's like 90 degrees out and I'm wearing a flannel because fall, but like, it's August 31st, and so even though I'm in the mood for fall, Texas is not, so I'm suffering. Also, my AC is off to film this. I have to go. I have to go. I'll see y'all at Barnes. Okay, so we are now at Barnes, and I realized I forgot to tell y'all what I'm specifically looking for. Like I said, I think the hardcovers are having a deal, so I would love to buy the really pretty covers of the Ballad of Never After, what's the first book? Once Upon a Broken Heart, I would love to get that, but I'm also a little delusional, and I'm hoping that they have the cover I want of Flawless by Elsie Silver. I highly doubt they do, because it was like special edition and whatnot, but 
I am going to keep my fingers crossed anyways and be looking for it. I had so much fun browsing that last bookshop and finding a book I literally have never heard of. And I think that's really fun and I would be down to do that at Barnes, like pick up books that I've never heard of. So that is what the plan is. Let's go into Barnes. This is the saddest thing. Okay guys, should we talk about how that was like the biggest fail ever? Because it was. Sorry, I just turned off my AC. Yeah, I I love Barnes. Who doesn't? But I don't love Barnes prices, and I think I was confused about the hardcovers. I think it was only like a select few of hardcovers were on that sale, like not every single one. Maybe I'm stupid for thinking that, but I was pretty disappointed. And then, as y'all saw from the clips, they didn't have the flawless cover that I thought that they were gonna have, which is fine. And then they also didn't have Once Upon a Broken Heart. So, it was just, it was not in the cards for me today. But that is totally fine because we are now at Target. And I love Target and I love the prices. So, I don't think I have any books in particular for Target. Let me look at my list. Okay, yeah, if they had, like Love Wager or anything else by Lynn Painter, I might pick that up. Or I don't know if they have that book. So yeah, let's go to Target. Fingers crossed I don't have trouble filming because at Barnes it was so rough. I swear everyone and their mother was there, but that's fine. Okay, so I'm now currently home, but I'm going to play the clips from the other day when I went book shopping and then we'll wrap up with a haul. Welcome back, I'm still here. But it is now time to talk about all the books I got. And I hesitate even saying that this is a haul because I know people do like hauls of 50 books and I literally have six here, but I thought that this would still be a fun video and I had fun, so hopefully you did and yeah. Also disregard this stack of books back here. That is not my haul. I just filmed my August reading wrap up. But let's start off with the books that y'all just saw me get from that secondhand shop. I actually don't even remember how many clips I really took, but I ended up going there again today. Not what I showed y'all, but after Target. Literally, I went to Target and I had no luck. Today's book shopping was honestly really rough and I've never had that rough of a time. But starting off with the best book, Happy Place by Emily Henry. I have already read this and I told myself that I was gonna wait for the paper book, paperback, to come back out and I was so close. I feel like the paperback is probably gonna come out soon but this was half off. It was like $10 or something. And so I was like, that's honestly how much the paperback will be. I may as well just buy this gorgeous hardcover. And honestly, I love this book. I may as well have it in hardcover. It's really not that deep. I love hardcovers, so. Okay, look at this. So satisfying. But yeah, I read this book on Kindle right when it came out and I loved it so much, but literally, common theme of my life recently. I wish I would have annotated this. It was so good and I know I'll reread it. So I'll annotate it then. 
And then next off, I got City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. This cover is so not it, but I have the, uh, I have the Infernal Devices already in these types of covers and they were way cheaper to buy them like this, so I may as well. And yeah, I was told that this is the first book you start because I had those three, but I, I think you have to start with these. I really don't know. Don't come at me. I think this is like a 20 book series or something, but I'm very excited. So yeah, this is definitely on the fall winter TBR. Okay, and speaking <laughs> of long series, I picked up the second book in the Vampire Academy series. This was a few days ago at this point, but I got it on resale. So it was super cheap, literally $5. And I'm now collecting like the whole series, but I haven't been able to find that first book anywhere. And so today I was like, you know what? I feel like I'm gonna go on a book buying ban now because I just like do not need to buy any more books. So I picked this up. Um, this is not secondhand. I wish it was. I'm telling you, I tried to find it, but that's fine. I'm probably gonna start this this month. So. Now I finally have the first book. I already had the second and the third and I found the fifth today, but I was like, no, you know what? I don't need to do this right now. So got both of these. And then although I did not find it at Barnes like I wanted to or in hardcover, but I picked up Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. This cover is seriously so pretty. And I honestly have no idea what this book is about. So, <laughs> okay. I just realized I haven't told y'all about like any of these books, but I'm assuming you know what Happy Place is about. It's about this couple that's broken up and then they end up going on a vacation with their friends like their college friends and none of them know that they're together or none of them know that they're broken up so they pretend to be together throughout the trip and it's a really great story with like the relationship and honestly like the friendships so highly recommend like I said I have read it I have read this I don't know what I rated it I think almost a five stars. And then I really have no idea what this is about. And honestly, I don't really want to. So I'm not gonna give you a synopsis. And honestly, same with these, but it's called Vampire Academy. So I'm assuming it's like a school setting with vampires. So yeah. And then to be honest, I don't really know what this is about either. It's about Evangeline who has to watch the love of her life marry someone else. And so she makes a deal with the immortal Prince of Hearts. And I don't think that goes how she wants it to. And things happen. So that's what this, this book is. And then the first book I picked up in this video was Too Wrong To Be Right. I was super excited about this, you guys. And then I saw that it's in third person and I'm not the biggest fan of third person. Like literally look at how cute this cover is. I think it's so cute. So the story has to be cute. But yeah, I'm not sure if I'll pick this up soon, but yeah, I am still really excited to get to this. Here are the six books that I picked up in today's video. Like I said, this was just a fun video. I didn't really plan for this and I think it's gonna go up randomly, like not scheduled out. So just consider this a bonus video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, I had a lot of fun even though I definitely was frustrated that I did not find like half the books I wanted, but that's okay. I hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you're reading a good book and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye guys.